allergy season, as I'm sure you are feeling, is at its peak and it's making so many of us miserable. You can see pollen everywhere. So why are allergies so bad in North Texas? Chief Meteorologist Scott Paget gets us some answers. Right about now, North Texas is blanketed by pollen. It's on cars, furniture, and just about everywhere in the air. And while many love the cool spring weather outside, South Lake resident Parul Kashik stays indoors. It's just how I enjoy my spring. Just, just looking at them from inside. Or I'll just go out for like two minutes or three minutes a day. It's not too windy. Because when she goes out, her allergies from pollen are relentless. It'll start with sneezing or itchy eyes, and um, then it just doesn't stop. If it's a major flare-up, then you just can't breathe. Her allergies last year-round. She's tried just about every remedy on the market, and moving out of Texas comes up often in her house. My husband will throw up Chicago, I'll throw up Denver on the mix, and then off late, it's been California. Every year, we always hear, oh, this is the worst year ever. But actually, there's some truth in that. And she should know, Dr. Marie Fitzgerald runs North Texas's pollen collection and counting station. And I've gone back to look at prior years, and there has been somewhat of an increase over that time in higher pollen days. So what's going on in North Texas? There's several reasons in this area. First of all, we have a nice warmer climate with a milder winter, and so we have a longer pollen season than a lot of the parts of the United States. So that's one reason. But also with climate change, we are seeing higher pollen levels as well uh, with longer pollen seasons. We actually have 10 months of the year that we will have high pollen levels. You heard her right, 10 months in a year. So from February to April, it's tree pollen season. April, May and June brings out the grass pollen. Labor Day to Halloween, it's weed pollen time. And then it's mountain cedar in the winter. So the only break we really get is from Fourth of July till Labor Day, kind of those 100 degree days. We also live in a geographic area where the Blackland Prairie region meets cross timbers, right along where Dallas Tarrant meet Colin Denton. And that means that we get hit with a large variety of pollen allergies. Where you have the prairies, it's uh, grass predominantly with trees scattered in there. And when you get into cross timbers, which is basically uh, the mid-cities area, uh, Dallas Tarrant County line, you get heavy tree populations. You get post oak, you get blackjack oak. Cordy Blevins is an urban forester at Texas A&M. We asked him about a theory all over TikTok claiming that the gender of the tree plays a role in allergies. The so-called botanical sexism theory was first floated by horticulturist Tom Ogren. The more female trees we have, the less pollen we'll have in the air. Always. No exceptions to that. So male trees make pollen. Lots of it. Female trees trap pollen and then create fruit. The theory goes allergies are high because landscapers choose to plant male trees for their flowers. Now, female trees create the fruit and litter, like you see here. These are berries under the juniper tree. Ogren argues planting non-allergenic plants like the female trees could potentially reduce pollen. I would also say that everybody that improves their own yard makes for less pollen in the air for their neighbors. But Blevins is skeptical. If you look around this place, he's surrounded by other red cedar uh, and juniper trees. So if he lived in a bubble and removed those trees, yeah, he'd have less pollen. But with so, many, so much out there in nature, I don't think it really makes any significant difference. Pollen has known to spread for miles. One study found that pollen from the mountain cedar trees can travel from Texas to Oklahoma and then even into Canada. And while the debate on botanical sexism rages on social media, there's agreement on what to do to reduce pollen and allergies. In general, planting allergy-friendly trees can help. For example, insect pollinating plants are better than wind pollinators. Planting more monoecious trees that have both male and female parts are better and staying indoors on windy days. The time of the day, it's important too. Pollen counts tend to be the highest in the mornings and afternoons. Evenings, well, they're a little bit better. But the best time to head outside, especially for allergy sufferers like Parul, is right after it rains. I'm Chief Meteorologist Scott Paget, CBS 11 News.